family, if you will, a little bit about Grease Lightning. Oh, thank you. Uh, big picture, what we're trying to show with Grease Lightning is you can have your cake and eat it too. Vertical takeoff and landing with significant cruise efficiency. So in this case, we're actually trying to show an aerodynamic efficiency four times better than today's rotorcraft. Where do these ideas come from? And more important, what do you do with them once you have them? We're trying to show that we can develop a vehicle that will enable new aviation markets, whether it's small package delivery or surveillance where you need to do mapping and surveying, or even larger to personal air vehicles. If you want to take off from your neighborhood, fly to your destination, land close to your destination, not needing to go to a full airport infrastructure. So is the whole spectrum from delivering pharmaceuticals all the way up to personal air vehicles that aircraft concepts like this, depending on the scale, would work very well for. Speaking of scale, how would something like this scale up eventually? So this scale here would be about full scale for small package delivery. If you want to deliver five pound sort of packages, this would be the scale of the vehicle. Obviously, larger UAVs could carry more payload, longer endurance, farther range. And a personal air vehicle might be something from a 20 to 40 foot wingspan in that size. This is a 10 foot wingspan here. What kind of technologies would a vehicle that scales up that large employ? Actually, the same technologies that we're employing here. The only difference would be the fidelity at which, the confidence at which we design those components. So the distributed electric propulsion, the active control system, we are using that on this vehicle. In the transition corridor, if the controller were to fail, the vehicle would crash because it's a very unstable condition. We're providing artificial stability with those controllers. So we are using those technologies on this vehicle that we're flying. Where do you go from here and how do you get there? Ah, the next things we would like to work on is we want to integrate a hybrid electric propulsion system. So we have a bunch of diesel and gas engines here on the table. One of the next steps we'd like to take, put that in the aircraft. Currently, the aircraft is all battery powered. Another thing we want to work on is to design new propellers and new electric motors that turn at a slower RPM to get it even quieter. It's already a pretty quiet hovering vehicle and we'd like to get it even quieter. The other technology we'd like to implement is an autonomous control system for the vehicle. Right now we hand fly the vehicle. The controller provides stability augmentation but a pilot still needs to fly it. In the future we would like to have an autonomous control system developed for this vehicle. Now what kind of time frame are you looking at to bring this vehicle to a mature stage so that it could be utilized in the real world? So our role as NASA is to develop the new technologies and then we look to partner with U.S. industry to develop products. So the timeline would be predicated upon when U.S. industry would be ready to incorporate technologies like this. Obviously you're at a starting point to a certain extent with this particular platform, but where would you like to see it go? What other ideas do you have that are based on this platform? Other ideas would be design improvements, like in Hover, the yaw control is a little inadequate, so design changes to the conceptual design of the airplane would be the next steps that I would like to see. Well, we appreciate your time, and thanks for talking to Airborne and Aero TV. Thank you very much. Aero TV is brought to you by the KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero.